shop sit rep. We got everybody out here. This bad boy is ready to rock. This one's gonna get a motor build. Should be pretty quick. Of course, we got the R33, the R32, which is looking sweet with its new wheels. And its cool new license plate, which is appropriately BNR32. Score with that one. Soar. And fair lady going in. Roberto's getting ready to do some good stuff to this one. Yay. So things are hustling and bustling at the shop. And I'm going to escape now to go change my water in my fish tank. That sucks. Not as bad as carrying it though. So, uh, let's go do that, shall we? They aren't ready, but I am. Got my buckets, I'm gonna pull out 20 gallons real quick, replace it, and prosper. Did it so we're 20 gallons out now nice cloud these buckets of water look like complete sewer water now that's just pure shit and trash it's in here even with all the filtration this stuff still is in there so part of the importance of doing a water change also need to put back and replenish the minerals and stuff that's in the water that the corals eat and Mainly though, we're getting rid of nitrates and crap like that, so. All right, so that's that. Now, we'll just fill her back up. Clean water, got my power head in there. Just gonna plug it in and just start pumping water back in. And there she goes. Now we're pumping water. As you can see, And as this empties, I'll just pour in a new one. Here we go. And that's it. So the water change is done. Now I'm gonna clean the filters out one more time and the clouded water will go away after the dust settles and everyone should be happy. So now I just get rid of this crap. Hope you enjoyed that more than I did. It really wasn't that bad, but it's just a pain in the butt.
Anyway, gone. So I just got a phone call from somebody and somebody got them a new car. So I am going to take my laptop and tuning software home with me tonight because I'll be doing a night tune for sure. And you guys are gonna probably see it. I'll let it, I'll let it show up on their channel first. How about that? Um, and then you guys can just get pissed or whatever when you see it. But anyway, I got my stuff. Here's a clue. Taking home my key. Some tuning stuff. And a trusty laptop. This is for basically almost every car that I tune. This is the little workhorse that I use. It's tiny. Gets the job done. And battery lasts like 10 hours, so... I can take it all over the place, take it to the track and whatever. It's a real workhorse of a little shit. If you ever need a tuning laptop, get yourself a little Asus netbook. If they even still have these, I don't even know if they do. This thing's like three years old now, maybe even more, four years old. I've had it for a while, maybe I should get a new one. Anyway, my old, old one is this one here, which I still have also. Now this was the bad boy back in the day. This was like 2008, right here. 2000, yeah, 2008, 2009. This thing still works. So, shout out to Asus. They make a really good, shitty little computer. And this one gets basically all the same shit that the newer one got done, but I wanted something newer. And I'm almost at that point again, so. Do you have any suggestions for a new netbook? slash tuning workforce computer. Let me know. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get some food and I'll uh, update you with the tune. So, I am building the map right now for my friend. And he's gonna load it up and see how it how it runs and give me some feedback so stay tuned and we'll see what it does but I spliced it up a little for him and it should run pretty good assuming the car is okay of course which is a big problem with these hoopties that was a hint anyway let's see what it does I'll be eagerly awaiting his feedback in the meantime Fingers crossed. While I'm waiting, I'm actually house sitting at my parents and I found my yearbook from my, when I graduated high school in 1997. That's how old I am. It's 38, in case you're wondering. So I was going through the yearbook and of course there's just a bunch of signed shit in here, but one really caught my eye and it was from a friend of mine in she uh, mentioned, see you in 20 years at the reunion. And guess what? It's been 20 years. So there's no reunion. I'm not going even to there is one, but I did manage to find her on Facebook. So I sent her a picture of that. Hopefully she doesn't think I'm a creeper, but it's been a while, 20 years. What's really changed? I don't know. 20 years goes by really freaking fast when you're not paying attention. I'll tell you that right now. If you're in high school right now, or even if you're just out of high school, and you're thinking, wow, man, you know, 10 year reunion, that's gonna be so far in the future. It's not, it happens really fast. And 20 years came up on me really fast too. What can I say? Stay in school, I don't know. Fuck school, actually. Really didn't do me that much good. I did meet a lot of friends, so it's good for the friends. So stay in school to have a lot of cool friends and try to keep as many of them after you get out of school. That's a challenge. I still am friends with like maybe five or six of my friends from those years. And I had, you know, I had a, I had a bunch of friends back then. So hopefully they're all good and alive at this point, 20 years. That's a long time. Can you imagine like, I don't even want to imagine, Never mind. Anyway. 
cherish those memories because time goes by really fast. I'm going to keep scamming through my yearbook and see what I can find. We're done. We're done. That was horrific. Hit the like button. <laughs> That's excitement. One of these. Front finger. That's it.